This off season began like many in years past, looking for sheds in the spring, shooting my bow to stay sharp, riding and filming deer wherever I saw them, pretty much anything to make me feel closer to my favorite part of the year and favorite animal to pursue. I went into the summer months confident I had located returners that would hit the right marks, but the right deer can make you second guess that real quick. I am freaking out right now. I immediately kicked back into permission mode and spent the remainder of the summer knocking on doors and ended off somewhere around 67 total. I eventually landed a couple properties to pursue the deer and ran cameras throughout the summer months, but that story is still unfolding. It's October 14th and the pre-rut is getting really close to kicking off. Probably one of the slowest starts I've had to a season as far as my sit count so far. I started the season off just knocking off a couple does to kick it off. But haven't really sat for a shooter just yet that much. And this even now is kind of in an observation sit. This is a spot where I got it late last season, and there have been tons of, you know, decent bucks that I've seen so far in here, but this spot is connected to a really big piece of woods that I know has shooters in it, so I know it's gonna get really good pretty soon. I have a shooting lane in front of me, and another behind me too, a community scrape was kind of like to the corner, and they've been hitting that community scrape like crazy the past few days, and I really, I only have a couple cameras in here, but I really want to give it a sit and see what's really going on because you know your cameras can't touch everything. So I really just want to see, sit in and see what the deer are doing as they move through here and kind of get a better feel. I really waited till I had a really good wind to come in here and sit as well. But I definitely, I just, I have a standard for the, the quality of buck that I want to shoot this year and I've been really patient and I believe that patience is gonna pay off. That's the plan for this season. The good Lord says the same, so. Happy to be in a tree, man. Really happy right now. While September was pretty much a waiting game, that very next day on October 15th, one of the returners from last season finally showed himself. So the story of Picasso began for me in 2021 when I got my first pictures of him as a three and a half year old. He was a really cool looking young deer, had a funky looking left side, but he wasn't anything big enough to be on my radar and I was focused on other deer that season. There was also another hunter in the area that shared this photo with me of Picasso when he was a two and a half year old. So fast forward to 2022 as a four year old, he made a really big jump Really nice looking deer, tall tines, um, decent mass, but he wasn't really wide, but he had about 15 scorable points with a bunch of kickers out of his base. And I never really saw him much that year, but also when you see a deer like that, you just can't help but think what it'll look like if he can make it to five and a half. Summer of 2023 was when I got my first look at him this year. He came down the trail with another buck in the area and I didn't really get a good look at him. He kind of spun his rack around a little bit, but it was in May, so it was early in the growing process. And I could tell he got a little bit more mass, but didn't really know what he was gonna turn into. But with the three years of history that I had with this buck and the time that I knew that he was most visible in this spot, I knew that early October, especially when it hits the teens of October, was gonna be a good time to be able to see this buck in daylight.
It's October 16th. Just getting out of the tree. Pretty good sit. Set at a spot where I filmed some really amazing hunts during the rut. And reason being, I saw like probably around nine does today. And that's what you want to see leading into the pre-rut. And one thing that tells you that it's definitely the pre-rut is all those does had fawns right at their hip. And when the rut starts, the bucks are chasing them so hard that those fawns will get lost. And you'll just see does by themselves and you'll see fawns by themselves. And they won't be together like that. But that's a spot to where the bucks, they're like probably four good bucks in that area. And four of them are definitely at least five. So it's definitely a spot where I'm gonna spend a lot of time over the next couple weeks. And this is the very week that just history, I have like probably three or four years of history at this spot. And these bucks start showing up right into the teens of October. So putting in some time, that's probably where I'm gonna sit all this week, just anticipating them kind of cruising and marking territory, just getting ready for the rut. So I wanna catch them on that instead of when they're running around crazy. But stuff is about to get good. So looking forward to putting one on the ground pretty soon.
some grunts in there, we'll try to bring them over. I don't even know if you heard it. That's how we head back into the deep stuff. So I'm just going to stay ready just in case. He is going to make his way over here before we die. Oh my god. I think he's crashing. Shot Picasso. No, you didn't. I swear. Are you shitting me? No. You Some insanity me? just went down. What? And um, like got ready, and I was just sitting there waiting. And he sat there for probably like a minute, like just behind some bushes where I couldn't even see him. And I was like, "Come on, step!" And then he started like grinning at the dough. It was like that, that, like Dude, grinning really? at the dough. Yeah. And then the dough kind of like dodged out to the right and I was like no 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 you know I thought he was gonna like like hightail it after her, you know but she like did like a quick burst but she didn't leave like she just like boom 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 you know like bounced probably like 10 yards to the right of me and then he like came up right in front of me and he but he was like facing me and I was like dang I need him to turn and uh he started coming even closer and then the doe started walking out some more I was like man he's gonna run after that doe so he turned like a little bore to me and I was like, man, I gotta take this shot. This is the only shot I'm gonna get. So I tried to like put it like straight into like his lungs and uh, heart and all that. Quarters, so straight ahead. almost straight ahead, but quartering a little. But you put it right in his chest? Yeah. Oh, he's done. And he like mule kicked. And I like heard, uh, like when he took off, it was like just crash, 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 crash. Like right yeah. below me. So I'm pretty sure I'm in there. There's this arrow right now. Red blood on him. And some 
chance to turn that light. So you know, huh? Let's turn that light. What y'all think? Dead deer, man. Uh oh. He's down. Man, look at that. Look at oh my gosh. <laughs> Freaking tank dump. Look at the kickers. Kickers everywhere. Kickers everywhere. <laughs> Man, holy! <laughs> he just looks freak nasty, don't he? Man, here's Picasso. Like three or four years of history with this book. Watched him when he was just, I think, two and a half or two and a half or three and a half. And man, just watched him grow, and his rack has changed so much. Like the first year I saw him, he just had like something wacky on this side, and this side has always been typical. But this side has always just been funky. And it's still funky. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this book is at least five and a half. I have three years of pictures of them. And man, this hunt, hunt was just so crazy. Today, <laughs> I literally hunted this morning and got down, had a what I thought was a shooter show at another spot. So I went to one spot, put some feed out, Went to another spot, hung a set where that big deer showed up, and then came back and hunted again this evening. And I pulled up and my homeowner was in the in the yard talking with somebody else. So I was talking to him, he was like, you going out there to get him? And I was like, yeah, gonna try. And he was like, he was like, is it a big one or a little one? I was like, it's a pretty big one back there. He was like, all right, good luck. And I got up in the tree. I saw this book like 200 plus yards across the river. And I threw some grunts at him. I don't even know if he heard it. Threw some grunts at him. And I don't know how it happened, but a doe came right under my tree. And he came right down the trail that he likes to come down. And he was grunting at the doe and bumped her a little bit. And she brought him right to me. I made the shot. He was quartered to me a little bit. But I just knew I wanted to get in those lungs. And this is the first time I've ever had to make a shot like that, but I was like, man, if I wait, I probably won't get another opportunity. The story of Picasso. It's over, baby.